Oil tanks sitting nearly empty in New York Harbor, fueling warnings that diesel prices are about to skyrocket. Yeah, and they're already high. The next looming crisis, fuel shortages. This is diesel prices skyrocket. Diesel right now at a record $5.58 a gallon today. And key tanks like these that you're seeing in New York Harbor, those tanks supply the Northeast, and they're running dry. CNN's Vanessa Yurkavich joins us now live. Up next for us, we're watching financial markets, turbulent days. And why? Well, gas prices are up. That's sober news for consumers and a giant political headache for the president. Stocks rocked again today. This market turmoil is raising some serious recession fears. And another threat that could impact all Americans, a diesel shortage. Vanessa Yurkavich is on it. The national average for diesel fuel is above $5.50 per gallon. And with prices surging, ongoing shortages, analysts are calling it the next looming economic crisis. The White House is now making contingency plans in case North Korea conducts a nuclear or long-range missile test while President Biden is overseas in Asia. A U.S. official telling CNN that it appears Pyongyang is preparing to test an ICBM possibly within the next 48 hours. Let's get over to CNN's Barbara Starr, who's live at the Pentagon for us. Barbara, what are you picking up on this? Well, Kate, the U.S. intelligence community watching around the clock as President Biden makes his way to the region. The concern, as you have said, the, that preparations appear. They are seeing signs of preparations for a long-range intercontinental ballistic missile test. Of course, a missile that could potentially, if it all works, someday possibly reach the United States. That is a threat that the U.S. has long said they would not let stand. The National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan openly talking about this just yesterday. We are preparing for all contingencies, including the possibility uh, that such a provocation would occur while we are in Korea or in Japan. We are coordinating closely with our allies in both Korea and Japan on this. We have spoken with counterparts in China. Now, since earlier this year, the U.S. intelligence community, the U.S. military, has stepped up intelligence collection over North Korea and then the waters around the peninsula, trying to get as much information, as much intelligence as it can about North Korean weapons plans so they will be ready if North Korea decides to move ahead. Kate?